Should we try to catch our own fish that are in a pond back here? This is the pond we're working on right now. It's on this side of the property, complete other side of the property. Fishing in my own backyard pond. Look at this beautiful little housing we have. But this is all gonna be hers. We're missing an animal out of this pond enclosure over here. And What is going on, Kafaros? Before this video starts, if you want to win a GoPro Hero 8 Black Edition, the newest one, all you got to do is like this video and go check out the two Instagrams to follow down below in the description. Thank you all so much and enjoy the video. What is going on, Kafaros? Welcome back to another video. Today, as you see by the title and thumbnail of this video, it's not the most uh, exciting video to explain. We're missing an animal out of this pond enclosure over here. And I'll, and I'll explain how, why, I, I mean, I don't know why. I'll explain it all in just a little bit. I just got a few things to do around the house, including feed these little rascals right here. By the way, I got the picture of what the enclosures are going to look like in the backyard. I'm just going to, I'm just going to show you so that you look forward to it. I'm, I'm going to show you. So right here is the picture. You can see on this picture, the lighter lines are the fences I already have installed in the backyard. The darker lines are the new ones going in. We have three different enclosures as you can see on that picture right there. And I am beyond stoked to get those things done. It's gonna happen at the end of this month if they get the materials in time, if not next month. So be ready for that. We're gonna get three new enclosures in this backyard for three new things. Well, one new, two new things, cause I don't know what I'm putting in the one over there. The one over here is gonna have goats in it. Obviously you know we're getting goats and then Lady May has her own being made. So yeah, I just spilled the tea for you. I literally just spilled the tea. That's exactly what we're doing here in the near future. Three new enclosures for three new things. Lady May is gonna have her own. But that's why I made Lady May her own palm when I had the machine here. As you know, I dug the one over there for the pigs that I have all out here, the whole family. But Lady May does not get along with these ones too well. Or these ones don't get along with Lady May, I should say, because Lady May is really nice. So I dug her her own pond. So once the enclosure is made, I'll fill this up with water and it'll look just like that one over there. But this is all gonna be hers. This whole entire area right here is all for her. I plan everything. I plan everything ahead in my head. Hopefully that makes sense, you know what I mean? But yeah, this pond, yeah, if you haven't done so already, join the family, by the way. Larry just told you to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's right down below. Hit that subscribe button. They're gonna do it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything's good. <laughs> Look how big these ducks are. Larry! Look how big the ducks are. They got massive. Like, these things were about the same size as these when I got them. And now they're, like, they're bigger than those ones over there. The tortoise ate all my plants. Oh, my gosh. Dude, they're actually all... He ate them all. He gets a meal of two heads of lettuce a day, and he still... Hit them all. Every single plant is gone. Every one of them. So now the enclosure looks bald. Although they're gonna grow back. They, see, you can see, already see them growing back down there. Look at this beautiful little housing we have. The PC mansion for the tortoises. So this is done. This whole entire side is done. It's, it's literally done. If you guys wanna see the tortoise enclosure get done, let me know in the comments down below. I'll do that video uh, this week. I wanna do something first. I wanna catch the fish in the pond out there. You know how we bred the tilapia? He's so sick. We haven't even seen all the try. big ones from the trap. Dude, there's some big ones there. I, I mentioned it on the channel a little bit ago. I said, should we try to catch our own fish that are in a pond back here? We put like 25 tilapia in that pond as babies. Now there's thousands and they're huge. So, what I think we're gonna do is get a little rod out the garage. You think you're gonna catch one? What are you gonna use, bread or are you gonna catch one a little lure? Got no the rod? rod. Catch Not this lure, we gotta cut this off. Gotta rig a hook up though. Primo! Look at that little jig head. Pristine right there. Let's see this man's not tying skills. Mason, throw back to the old days, man. We used to stand oh, yeah. up. Hell yeah. Watch this knot tight. Ready? Oh, yes. Still got it, mom and dad. Told you. For all I know, I could reel in an alligator. Bread. Let me tell you, if I was a fish, I would right up. Some cream cheese and jelly on there. Some cream cheese and jelly on mm. there. So as you know, I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. I've mentioned that probably six times now. Just just throw it in there. Let me see the tilapia eat real quick. Yeah, let's put it up close. Look at, look at them all right there. Look at them. Ready? Look at them eating it already. Trail them up close. Boom, gone. Look how many, dude. I'm telling you, it's a good thing that we have the jig head because it's not going to sit on the surface and we won't catch a duck. Yeah, that would not be good. Fishing in my own backyard pond. Interesting. Never thought this day would come. Has anyone ever done that before? I don't know. Fishing in their own backyard pond on YouTube? Dude, this is so, so sick though. I'm getting thumped by little ones. I just need the right fish to eat, you know what I'm saying? Look at them, blowing up out there. Everything's eating the ducks too. Look at that little bird. There's big ones in here, man. It's just a matter of time. It sinks so fast, that's the issue. The next day. It's weird though, some days these fish are fired up and other days they're just not. 
We need a bobber. We need to find a bobber. I have an idea. Jig head did not work. Watch this. Watch this, this is my little trash bin over here. Oh yeah, just tie a couple loops. Water bottle bobber. No bobber? Shh. Say less. Water bottle, baby. That's it. That's gonna catch him at, right there. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, bro. This is gonna do the job. I don't know. You got a water bottle, jig head, and a piece of bread. All right, ying that thing out there, boy. Oh, money. Watch that, watch that bobber just doink. It's tough, because these fish eat on a day-to-day -day basis, twice a day. So none of these fish are like starving, hungry, you get what I'm saying? You go to a random lake, they're just like, they see anything they want to eat. These fish are probably just sitting there like, I'm not eating that. I already ate four times today. Oh my God, I'm getting destroyed. Now. Oh, look at it, Bob, and the right one needs to eat. That bird's eating my fish. The key to fishing is patience, even in your own pond. Literally. When you know means... there's thousands of fish thousands. in here. Why are they not eating? Because they're full. They're full. That's the issue we're having. Dude, I, I don't know, man. I hate to not catch a fish, but maybe this just leads on to another video. Like where I strictly go out on a mission to catch a fish out of my pond. What do you boys and girls think? Kafaros, what do you think? I'm gonna give it a little bit longer, but if I don't catch one, this is gonna be like an episode dedicated to itself. Now, I'm not the one to leave y'all on the cliffhanger very often, huh? I'm, I don't think I've ever done it, actually. But I can't catch a fish right now. These fish aren't hungry. My rig is perfect, There's, you know what I mean? Nothing's wrong with what I'm doing. The fishes aren't hungry. There's thousands of them in here. I'm looking for the big ones. I'm going to catch one. Maybe not today, but I'm going to do it. So make sure you go down below, you hit the subscribe button, and after you hit the subscribe button, click the bell so you're notified every time I upload so that when I come back out here, I'm gonna probably do it this week, I'm gonna stick one of these things for you. Okay, let's make that deal. Handshake, through the lens. All right, it's time to tell you where the salon went, because I'm sure all you are like freaking out right now. Okay, so I woke up the other day, a couple days ago, walked outside, the swan was gone. Nowhere to be seen. And if you remember, I said the swan was like trying to fly over the fence. My neighbors were on the other side of the canal waving me down like over here, over here. I go over to the canal and in the very far back in the middle of the canal is my swan. Just chilling in the canal. I full on took my shirt off, booked it, full speed, dove into the canal. Straight up dove, dude. I swam for a solid 10 minutes chasing the swan in an alligator infested canal. I'm out there just paddling away, chasing a swan. The swan was just flying further and further and further and further away. And I was like, okay, what I could do is just not bug it, let it come back this way and I'll get it in a little bit. So I sat there, waited a little bit. The swan just kept going further. In fact, I started right here and I ran and jumped off right here, swam out to about there, chasing it. And it just kept going that way. Dude, I, I'm not even kidding you. I, I should have filmed it. It swam away, gone. He could be anywhere. He could fly. The thing flew over my fence in my backyard. Partially my fault, but I wouldn't say it's all my fault. If you want to hate me for it, you could hate me for it. The thing flew over the fence. I did my best to try to go and get it. I even threw food and tried to get it back over here throughout the last couple of days. There's a big old fish right there swimming in the canal. Grass carp. Huge grass carp. But dude, like I literally, I promise you, it's just gone. Flew away. So I already know I'm gonna get the hate for this one, but honestly, I did everything I possibly could to get this bird back to my house. That's all I could do. That is literally all I could do. It's part of it. I own a lot of animals, and that's just part of it. Dude, that thing's chilling out. I know. Actually, you think he probably would be surviving out here? He's Especially definitely surviving. Especially if his vibing. wings can fly. That means that yeah. man probably found a new lake for himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely chilling out here. It just sucks because it's a beautiful bird. I mean, look at that picture right there. It's a beautiful, beautiful bird. Maybe one day it'll come back to the back of the canal. I don't see it right now. I've been looking the past couple of days, obviously. It's been like two or three days. Like, but man. Think about it. Where, where else could he go besides you think he would stay? He's in, in this canal somewhere. I mean, he doesn't fly like a normal bird in the sky and like go to a different area. The only thing is, out. there's a lot of alligators in this pond. A lot of alligators. I mean, I'm pulling up to my house all the time. I see eight foot gators sitting on the bank. And this man is charging swimming <laughs> after this swan. I did. The, my neighbors are like, what are you doing? Don't jump in the water. I'm like, I'm getting this thing. Sometimes you got to risk your own life to save another. Yep. But it didn't work. At least you didn't tried, work. man. At yeah. least you tried. At least I tried. That's all that matters. But yeah, sorry, Kaferos. I let you down. 
I let the swan down. It is windy as all heck, but guys, the swan did go away. I don't know where it went. This is the pond we're working on right now. It's on this side of the property, complete other side of the property. I didn't even show you guys this, but this is another pond. It's being worked on and it's gonna be awesome once it's done. I promise you guys there's a lot going on here at this house at all times, whether I'm uploading or not. A lot of people are like, you used to post every other day, what's going on? I got a lot busier of a life than I used to. Owning this house is a big responsibility and I have a lot to do. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'm doing stuff like this. Don't worry, content's still being put out. Actually, better content, because now it's taking me more time. But this pond is halfway done. I'm gonna do the other side over there. And then this will be a pond that we just, you know, I guess you'll have to figure that out later. Can you Kefaro hop it? There you go. Oh, okay, he did it though. Today's positive comment shout out goes to our Yev, I always pick like crazy names. Super cool name though. Hi Paul, love your videos. You inspire me to set up my own live barrier tank, which is like a fish that has live babies. Like Molly, Platy, that kind of thing. Thank you so much, and uh, thanks for dropping that positive comment shout out. If you want to win a positive comment shout out and be in one of these upcoming videos on the screen, all you gotta do is drop a positive comment down in the comments down below, and that is very possible. Fellas, we got this pond being made. We got three different enclosures being made. The swan flew away, and I tried to catch fish in my own backyard pond. What an interesting video. Hopefully you ain't none to enjoy. I promise you, it's worth joining the family. I would jump in right now, but this outfit's too nice to be doing that. I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, until next time, I will see you in that next video. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Links are down below. Do it, do it, do it. Peace. Is this classified as reusing plastic? Yeah, yeah. Dude, yes!